you know, there's so many great things to do on Long Island uh, during the summer. You know, you can go around Long Island. Yeah, you could go to so many towns, go around here, around there, shopping, no, 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 whatever. No, 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 no. I mean literally around the entire island. No, you can't. It's not impossible. Mylon Studart has a special one-on-one -on, -one on LIE interview with somebody who did just that. Take a look. Hello, my name is Mylon Studart, and welcome to One on One on LIE. I'm a former professional athlete, and today we're bringing you a very special story. The Atlantic Supper Girls, as they're called, are here today to talk about their 1,500-mile journey on a paddleboard from New York to Miami. Luann Harris and Julietta Gismondi did something amazing. They paddleboarded for four months in an adventure that most people would consider impossible. Physical preparation, mental stress, and weather are some of the challenges that the Supper Girls are going to share with us today. So stay tuned because here comes a one-on-one -on -one special with the Supper Girls. Welcome to One on One on LIE. Today we're going to talk to the Supper Girls about paddleboarding. What is paddleboarding and what motivated them to take that trip from New York to Miami? SUP uh, stands for Stand Up Paddleboard and it's a, it's a water sport in which you're paddling on a board which is larger than a surfboard. Um, and you use a single blade paddle. So you're standing on the water, paddling. Uh, I've been paddle boarding for about seven years. I don't think there was a single experience that triggered um, this particular expedition. I think it was, a, it was more of a culmination of aspects of my life. I've always been involved in water sports. I started rowing, sculling when I was really, really young, and then uh, took up kayaking. And then when paddleboarding got into the mix, I picked up paddleboarding. And um, I also bike a lot, and I like I like getting places by my own means. Um, so I started thinking about doing a, a, a trip, a long distance trip, either biking or kayaking or paddleboarding. And then I decided to um, go on a paddleboarding trip. I was the first to paddleboard around Long Island. It's been done by uh, kayaks, um, but nobody had paddleboarded around it. Um, and I decided to do the circumnavigation of Long Island because I I wanted to do a first solo trip, but I didn't. I didn't dare go in somewhere far, um, so I picked Long Island because it's close to home and the furthest I can be from somebody picking me up if something went wrong was kind of three hours away. So it made me feel better about the fact that I was not far from my family in case anything happened. And uh, But it was still a, a long enough trip to be a challenge because you know going around Manhattan is one thing because you can do it in eight nine hours but then going around Long Island which is the largest island on the East Coast it was in itself a challenge but at the same time it was the safest thing that I could think of doing at that time at least that was my first solo trip it was it was scary it was scary all the time all the time. It was really scary. Um, but at some point, I guess I, it was on the third or the second day, I sort of realized that I was going to be scared and worried about where I would sleep that night, if the winds were going to pick up or not, um, people on the beach kicking me out because you can't really camp um, on the beach around Long Island. Um, where I was going to get water, if I was going to find water or not. Like, so all these things, they're just in your mind as you're paddling. And wow. at one point, I realized I was going to be worrying about everything all the time. 
and instead of trying to convince myself that everything was going to be okay and just like enjoy the trip or whatever, I decided I was going to embrace the fact that I was going to be worried and scared all the time and just take it as the state of mind that you're in when you're on a on a solo trip like that even though I was you know maybe 400 yards from a street right but most of the time I was pretty much alone so it, it made it it made it awesome. It's not, I mean, it's not like I had a terrible time. I, I loved it. I want to do it again. But it, it, is, it does put you in that state of mind where you're, you're just constantly being challenged by every single aspect of the trip. Wow, that was very interesting. Now we know what SUP means, stand up paddleboard, and stay tuned next week when we talk to the Supergirls about their big trip from NYC to MIA, why they did it, and how.